Welcome. In this video, I will explain how we can calculate gender diversity percentage using formulas in Excel. Gender diversity has become a very critical part of human resources management. And in most places, the gender diversity is defined as what percentage of the employees are women in your company. And the target for how much this percentage should be will depend on country to country, location to location, or to, from company to company. We're not going to get into the policy part of this. Instead, we're going to focus on the technical side of how we can calculate the gender diversity of employees in your company. Now let's get started. So I have here our data set, which is a list of employees. I have the employee ID, employee name, and the date when the employee started with our company. Are they currently active or not? Uh, and what is the gender of that each employee? If your data set has information like this, we'll see how we can calculate this gender diversity percentage. As we have done in the previous videos, make sure that your data is a table. Select your data set, press Control T to convert it into a table. I've already done that and you can see that I've named also this table as T underscore EMP underscore three. So now that we have done that, let's write the formula for the gender diversity percentage. So the formula is the numerator is the number of female employees who are currently active. The denominator is number of all employees who are active. So we're going to use a count ifs function. So count ifs allow us to put two conditions or more than one condition in our count. So for example, now I can give a criteria range. So I want to make sure that my formula is smart enough to remove the inactive employee. So I'm going to say count if the status is active and second criteria range. Now I can enter the second one, which is the gender comma female. So this is my numerator. So when I hit this, it is giving me a percentage. So let me go back, change my formatting. So if you write this formula, it'll say five. And this is the number of employees who are active and female. So let's say as an example, if this employee is not active, you can see that it's updating correctly. And the denominator part is divided by total number of employees. So divided by total number of employees. So total number of employees, we can use a count function again. This time, we don't need count ifs, we can use the count if. Um, and this is basically you can enter only one criteria. So I'm going to say count if status, comma, double quotes, active. And close, hit enter. So now it will say 0.5. And that's because the number of females is five divided by all active employees is 10. So five divided by 10 is 0.5. Now this is the first part of calculating it. Now we can, we need to show it as a percentage. There are multiple ways to do it. But if you select the cell and go to this number format menu and press percentage, it will convert it into a percentage. So it's 50%, right? So the data we have, it is five divided by 10. It's really clean. But if you have a lot of employees and you don't want to say 50.234% or something like that. So you can go into the number format menu and decrease the decimals, right? So let me show you. So if it, if it looks like this, then I can go and decrease the decimal. And that is one way of formatting it to show as a clean percentage with no decimals. The other way would be if you, if I go back to my default format, if it looks like this to you, then you can press control one, which will again open the, um, the format cells dialog box, which is similar to what you see on the menu here, but you can come to this place and then you can choose percentage and then say, zero decimal places, hit OK. This is another way you can display the number as a percentage. So this is how we can calculate gender diversity percentage 
and the values whether the employee status is active inactive or the gender could be called as you know man and woman again according to the data you have make sure that you replace the appropriate values in the formula then it'll work so just to test it out let's say our ninth employee is inactive and now you'll see that the gender diversity has increased to 56 percent and that's because now we have more females than males who are active in the company so the gender diversity has increased i would love to hear from you what you calculate in your company when it comes to gender diversity how you calculate it your thoughts on this i would love to hear from you i'll see you all in another video about another hr kpi soon thank you very much for watching please visit inzara.com hr to know more about excel templates and tutorials around HR. Thank you very much for watching.